iti iwi, nao mai, hari mai, ki tene, papahotanga, a whakata Māori. Ka mihi ki, nao mawanga, nao wai mina, ahika o tene ro, tena koutou katoa. Welcome into New Zealand Secondary School's water polo champs. Up next, we are bringing you the bronze medal match between the might of Rangitoto College and the powerhouse south of the Bombays. Hamilton Boys High School, national champions in this event three years ago. Now it's time for the team introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, very good afternoon. It is now time to introduce our two teams of gladiators as they contest the bronze medal for the 2024 New Zealand Secondary Schools Water Polo Championships. Starting with the White Caps, the might of Hamilton Boys High School. Women number one, big warm welcome to Cole Schmidt. Number two, Samuel Valentine. Number three, Kamil Martin. Number four, Samuel Mayo. Number five, Miles Julian. Number six, Taylor Crouch. Number seven, Samuel Kiteley. Number eight, Max Mayo. Number nine, Zachary Martin. Number ten, Jacob Kiteley. Number eleven, Aguilar Waters. Number twelve, Nate Clark. And we're in to number thirteen, Lewis Mayo. Their coach, Rahiti Dakota White. Their assistant coach, Biela Ru, and the manager, Matthew Kreitley. We now move over to the fight of Rangi Toto. We're in the number one, Mr. Ben Rapley. Number two, Ted Stafford. Number three, Jack Roberts. Number four, Denim Shirley. Number five, Jamie Durant. Number six, Cole Saunders. Number seven, Jen Arvidsson. Number eight, Josh Bayers. Number nine, James Pender. Number ten, Nikesh Pavone. Number eleven, Hamish Flippy. Number 12, Ryan Burke. Number 13, Mario Borovich. Their coach is Jack Lockwood. Their assistant coach, Rogan Gary. And their manager, Felicity Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, your referees, a big round of applause for Emma Wilson. Kian McAllister Stone. Your delegate, and he's been a delegate and referee at the Olympic Games, Mr. John Waldo. There we have it, folks. Rangitoto, Hamilton Boys High, the bronze medal match at the 2024 New Zealand Secondary School Champs. Hamilton Boys missing the final after making it at the recent North Island Secondary School Champs. But Rangitoto weren't even a feature in the top four there. They were fifth equal with Rosmini. Um, so a step up for them today. Two new teams playing for bronze. Yes, and Hamish McDonald, our expert comments man. You've just heard from him. And of course, Hamish, one of New Zealand's leading referees, heavily involved in the St. Kennigan program. Interesting that you mentioned there that um, Rangitoto not really featuring at the North Island Championships, but getting their timing right, because it's not dissimilar to what we're going to see in the final later. Sacred Heart College not fulfilling their potential at the North Island Championships, but in the final this afternoon. Yeah, and I think it's a testament to the depth of the sport at the moment, especially on the boys' side. Um, you know, there seems to be four, five, six teams that could all be featuring this top four, all featuring in this final. Um, so, you know, in an interesting dynamic, um, 
not sure if the two teams have played, you know, at the recent champs, but they seem to be relatively evenly matched, and I'm sure this will be an up-and-down affair. Yeah, it's been an interesting battle. We talk about the depth, but Tauranga, the other school south of the Bombays, they're really starting to establish themselves. Only one school south of the Bombays has ever won the New Zealand Secondary Schools Boys Competition, and that is Hamilton. I think it was three years ago they won that. It was staged up in Auckland in Diocesan, and they won it the last 30 seconds in one of the great finals. And so only the smallest of margins have seen them not make that final again. It's got to be good for the sport. They're starting to see the development in Tauranga, starting to see the development in Waikato. Yeah, it's a team to their coaching staff too. But the Raiders, they don't have as much competition. You know, really Toto and Sacred Heart and just like all these things that have been there. You know, it's a big eight-week, ten-week competition where these schools have to try and find games um, amongst themselves. And they have to test them with them that they can come to this level of perform. Yep, of course, Hamilton, you know, a school that got such a rich history recently, just having come off winning their 13th, no, their 12th Aon Marty Cup. In the sport of rowing. Too many sports, they don't feature it at the highest level. And so four quarters of six minutes. Swim off Fort Rangitoto. will feature Josh Bayes. And we are underway. So here we go. Settle back. Bronze medal up for grabs. Five for Hamilton Blues High School is Miles Julian. Hamilton can get first possession. Big team. Probably the tall physical looking side can say Rangitoto, but Rangitoto. They are a quick, very nimble, great cohesion. Oh, good pass, great opportunity, and just like that, Hamilton get things underway through the brilliance of Sam Quitely. Speaking about tall players, Sam, six foot six, the sports captain at Hamilton Boys High. Certainly one of the most dangerous players on this team. And he, he's going to make his presence felt today and get it underway with a bang. And we'll talk about the physicality immediately. Let's have a look at the video. Talk us through what you're seeing defensively here from Hamilton, but high press at the moment. And so number 10 for Rangitoto there is Mikesh Maloney. Hamilton going forward into a nice tight press, really, really high, looking to try and feed the counter attack. Oh, good entry pass, good entry pass. Little backhand flick. Oh, that is for the highlight reel. Wow, that is highlights reel every day. That is box office. Superb from Cole Saunders. Look at this. The athleticism. I tell you what, Taylor Kraut for Hamilton Boys did everything right defensively. Just had that door slightly ajar and the backhand came in. He stayed on the right side. You know, trying to force, force that backhand. Force that backhand, but, you know, it was too good to score that. Yeah, that is not easy to do with that sort of pressure. Yep, you can practice it, but it's funny when you're lucky well, but in a pressure cooker like that, that is superb. So the big man, again, for him and the high school, crouching the number six, but very much the pivot. And the play goes through him. And he is in action now. Another big one, look at that big mitt. Another little entry pass, shot comes, look at the goalkeeping, and that is really beautiful work. That is some quick thinking under all sorts of pressure. Wow, quite the again. He saw the goalkeeper was off. The goalkeeper had done some good. He'd been wrapped. He got nice and high. It's a really classic finish from Sam to get up there, use his wrist, use it to create that loft. And find a nice little loft. It lands perfectly in that dark corner. Oh, just such a dangerous side out there. And again, just look at the size there of James Pinder. Uh, sorry, exactly Martin for Hamilton. Physical team. Tell you what, Rangitoto are going to need to take their chances. They won't want to make this too physical. So, first explosion of the match against Hamilton Blues. No, they'll need to go quickly, Rangi. And they do go quickly. They've gone through Max Mayer. Uh, sorry, they've gone through Josh Bayers. So, Bayers now. Shot clock pressure, shot clock pressure, big cannon of a shot, good defence there from Hamilton. Oh. Funny, we saw in that, in that earlier game, the girls' bonds game, the first quarter was the, the slowest of the four quarters, so they're feeling kind of out, Hamilton ready, no such thing here, they're just going to come out fine. They are just going at it, aren't they? And just look at Hamilton, they're just so, look at the size of them. Exclusion court against... Toto, so Hamilton will get their first extra player opportunity of the afternoon. Hamilton 
Up, doesn't he? He just shuts that room down and just, and that's what they have to lock to force the lob from that angle. Good lead there from Sam Partley at centre back, proving he can do it on both ends, centre forward, centre back. Yeah, he's just, he's just such a big Receiver is quite weak. Still have possession for Hamilton. Now they'll go quickly again themselves. Just have a look though at Zachary Martin just being worked over there by two Rangitoto defenders, and those defenders are Jamie Durand and Famous Fleming. Scores him against Rangitoto. Oh, looking for that, what I'm going to call the serve and volley. Trying to find that post player, Sam Kitely. He does a really good job to, to control the ball. And now can we see the big yeah. cannon going? Okay, explain that. So, inside, as you can see on that, that picture there, there's a red lane right next to the goal, and the red cone in the far area. That indicates the two metres, it's sort of a restricted zone. You can't enter there without the ball. Okay. So, well picked up by the referees. Really good officiating too from Emma Wilson, Kian McAllister, Sim. Very good John the ball though. Goalkeeping this time from Cole Schmidt for Hamilton, but I think the whistle might have gone. Two metre save, so just contrary to those watching the first time, contrary to football, if it's blocked by the goalkeeper, it's a two metre, but if it's blocked by a field player, it's just a goal throw. So um, if it comes off the goalkeeper, I think the field will give them a chance. I look at the height though, look at the height there in the disc background there from Cole Schmidt in terms of using the the goalkeeper, we're getting his egg beat a kick going, get those hips high out of the water. Yeah, absolutely, Cole Schmidt, a really good goalie. Um, and he's been on the 16 team on top of the World Championships in Malta um, later this year, so um, certainly a bright future. Okay, outstanding. remaining in this first quarter, four quarters of six minutes. Hope you are enjoying the coverage here across Hokkaido Māori. Katoa. You might be wondering what uh, Rangitoto were doing there, throwing the ball to the corner, just with no one around. It's what we call dumping the ball. Um, so just hope you've got no option, just get it to the corner, get back on defence, make sure you see it and you don't get on counter attack. Oh, no chance here. Oh, good play. That is wonderful. Boy. That is really, really good again this time. Sam Kitely, I mean, he was double teamed here and he still found a way through to such incredible height. Really nice combination between him and Conal Martin. And that combination working really effectively out to the left and then looking to just find that centre forward. It's great work by Conal Martin. Grabs the ball, takes it down to that lane line, allows Sam Kitely to enter that two metre area. It's the six foot five Conal Martin, but six foot six Sam Kitely. Yeah, I was just saying, it's just a size thing. Rangitoto did everything right defensively. They were just simply out muscled. Yeah, really good work. And a good vision to make that pass as well. No chance here for Rangitoto. Do they look to try and go all oh, from behind? What does the referee say? Now the shot does come and they do score. Pulls the trigger. Does Josh Bayers. Great shot, big shooter, vice captain of this team. He's, he's the one to step up and get them back within one. Yeah, he could just, I don't know, he just thread the needle then. He needed to get through two defenders and then the goalkeeper and still found a channel. 
a huge pressure. Oh, some outstanding talent coming through the New Zealand water polo ranks. Great shot, great placement of that shot from that ball to skip. Just half a metre in front of the goal. Very hard for a goalkeeper to save a ball that skips there. Just saw three or three ball for Jack Roberts, number three from Minnesota. Colonel Martin for here in the High School. And now they look to come forward now. Situation here. Look to go across. Look at the goal mode. Is the ball in there? Dean to have set a Dean to have pushed off. Uh, the ring Toto player to gain an advantage. And therefore, uh, to turn over the foul. Now looking to switch, chance here for Rangitoto, oh, couldn't quite pull it off, the intent was there, nice work there from Arvidsson, looking for James Pinder, didn't quite happen. It's good vision to try and find that pass, unlucky to not, to not know it, but keep doing that, you get more chances in there. It's open, oh, the opportunity was there this time, no, trajectory just not quite accurate. Probably should have gone a little bit better. Pressure. Hamilton lead by one. It is 3 2. Rangitoto somehow finding a way to stay in this match. They've had to do it a little bit tougher. Don't have the size that Hamilton has. And that is the end of the first quarter. And so just the one goal separating the two teams. It's good work. It's good work for Rangitoto. Uh, got to stick with it. The more you stay in games like this, you know, one team has no need to be really to up staying there, staying there, staying there. We've got four of the girls from. If you stick with them long enough, your yeah. opportunity will come. You just don't want to be five or six behind at that point. Yeah, and, the, and again, you talk about momentum shifts too, but Hamilton Boys High School, you know, how, how, how often have they lost this year? What's their expectation coming in? If we rattle them, they think, hey, we're the better side, we're the bigger physical side, we're not winning this. Year. Training by one, we're only winning by one. Again, young men can have a big, big psychological impact and effect. Yeah, absolutely. It's you know, interesting. You know, Hamilton boys, both teams. You know, they both teams be disappointed to miss out on those semi-finals. You see that they're both post games. They both have their chances. So they'll both be disappointed to miss. Um, and it's really interesting psychological thing to bounce back from one of little guys because you know it can really hurt the day before, but if you get a chance to put it behind you and, and finish on a high. So, what's the message here to the Rangitoto boys as they get back into the second quarter? I think they're going to have a making a few adjustments. So, all three goals so far for Hamilton boys, for Sam Tightly. How they're making sure that their defense is pattern, whatever they choose to do, is the So, two goals from that left wing. And then, and then one from the post. How do they, how do they fix that? That's what they're going to be thinking about. It's interesting though, isn't it? You shut down Sam Kite, you look at the likes of Conal Martin, you look at some of the other bigger players here, and they've just got so many different options. And as you said, you should quite be the key here. Shut him down, and you win the match. As you said, them down. Number 10 here. Mikesh Harani will get underway. Plenty of boys on both these sides of the national teams of the European Championships, going the European tours. There's plenty of talent across the pool on both sides. Oh, absolutely monster bit. And they come back with it to Sam Valentine, the offender there for Hamilton Boys High School. And they're pressing high up on Rangitoto. Rangitoto trying to get out of trouble for Jamie Durant. It's a good play, they go down, they find Bayers. Bayers now looking for his players to try and come forward. What are his options in front of him? Does he go himself? Jacob Kiteley, Sam younger brother. And yep. a chance here, opportunity, and you get over the top of those big defenders though. At what point, they pull the cap, no, no, looking, a little pump fake. And you get those defenders to come high out of the water early. It's really good defense from Hamilton boys, they're pressing out on that 6-5, it can be risky, but they realise that those Rangitoto players are on their backs, losing some balance, they put pressure on, force a poor shot, and, and, take, you know, and take away on their defense. in position, so lead by one. That gets an easy play off. Big chance, oh, easy pass, nice easy pass to exclusion. Great work, Sam Kiteley, Sam Ford earns the exclusion. Oh, good piece of goalkeeping. Maybe a wasted opportunity from Hamilton. Yeah, I don't think, you know, rather Hamilton boys try to be that thrilled with that option. 
you've got the six and pass, take the time, one extra pass. That's what, we, what these coaches try and you know, put in these young players with that discipline with the ball and taking their time. And you've got these extra chances. Well, Hamilton's still in position, though. Take back underway for Jacob Cotton. Now they come down the right hand side, look to bring it out. Oh, just get the white carry up. And some pressure on the shoulders there of Jacob Cotton. And then Cotty survived another long slot from Hamilton. Great work from Ben, captain of Rangitoto, third year in the team. Do like Josh Bay is here. He's a good, good player. Stands and reads the game this time. Pass a little bit loose, but no turnover. So Hamilton will come away with it. Now the counter attack. They look to drive up through Sam Quitely up this right hand side, looking for his options. Does he go on his own? Press defense here coming from thing. A little entry pass, a little bit wayward. They turn. Oh, good, brilliant. Wow, that is good from Jamie Durant from Rangitoto. Just got back, managed to get a mid on it. Superb defense from the young man. Good work to hustle, get to the other side, and then. Only make contact with the ball to give away a penalty. Great defense. You talk about it, just stay close. Wait for the momentum shift. Certainly Hamilton looking more dangerous on the counter. Here's another chance now for Sam Quartley. It's great defense to position himself in that lane. And he's got to keep saying his name, but he seems to be everywhere. Yeah, he is. I mean, great players are, aren't they? They just find a way. And now, really, you expect Hamilton to finish this, and they do. And they got by two. So, 4-2. You know, put it down to Kite Leap. And finish Samuel Valentine, the goal scorer. The most finishing, Sam, as you said. Ben Rapley for the Rangitoto, good goalkeeper. He does a good job of coming up, putting that angle down. But as you see, his arm comes up. Really good to see Ted shoot down and under that arm. So, 4-2 the score. Two gold lead. Let's see the clock in the background there, second quarter, just over three and a half minutes remain. Doesn't sound like a lot. You cannot, you cannot do the play to sport and realise how tough it is a rover play. Just how hard the sport is, not just physical, but the endurance side of it. Now, Josh Bayes, can he change the momentum? Can he shift the momentum? Good defence again. Been pressed back here in Atoto. Clock shot pressure starting to build, but Hamilton Boys High School too good defensively. Really good awareness there for all three of them to crash back to that set, that threat at the centre. And here's another chance of counter attack. Good work over again by Jamie Durant. Durant, I think, excluded, is it? He is indeed. Up in his second exclusion, too. He's going to have to be a little bit careful. Oh, good, good. Look at the poise and the balance here. Oh, well read. Not block on that man again, Josh Bayes. Great move by, by Rang Toto there as you saw Hamilton's boys start to move and switch their positions. They stayed nice and comfortable. They stayed at home, what they were staying at home in their blocking lines and forced the, force the block. And they're moving it quickly, Rang Toto looking for a little quick entry pass. Can they find it? They do find it back and brilliant. Wow! <laughs> they hit him and they hit him hard. Through again, another box office moment. Have a look at this. That is superb. Great that is when they're good, fast on the counter attack. Need to play with speed, need to play with momentum, Rangitoto. Great finish from Denim Turley, and I'm not sure who it was. It might have been Josh Bayes on that far side. Really good vision as the ball swings to him. Take it back the other way and find that perfect pass on the hand to allow the finish. So four, three, two and a half minutes remain, second quarter. Playback underway through Lewis Mayo. Ben Hamilton. He gets Manhattan turnover. Here's an opportunity for Jack Roberts for Rangitoto College. What can Roberts do here? Oh, well, how good is that from Cole Smith? How good is that? We talked about the height, his ability to get nice and high just creates a wall. The man is a man mountain. We saw a moment of brilliance from Rangitoto offensively. Well, that is a box office highlight moment for the Hamilton Boys goalkeeper. Great keep, not keeping from Cole Smith. Uh, so high out of the water, taking up so much of that goal. He's just half much high after that effort, too. Turnover. Great save, Cole. I guess the positive out of that for being a photo. 
two or three really good chances for the road. So that's that's that means he's starting to come back their way here. Yeah, you've got to shut him down, got to go at him, got to go at him here. Some exclusion. I think the exclusion might be Ryan Perk. Really good defence and also some good goalkeeping. I like Ben Rapley, just comes off the line, shuts the angle down. And, well, unlucky ring a total on the counter there to turn that into genuine counter attack. And a bit of an offence to suddenly back on defence. A little bit of a falcon in the back of the head. <laughs> well, that is good goalkeeping at both ends, isn't it? That is just remarkable. This time, Ben Rapley saying to Cole Smith down the other end, Well, anything you can do, I can do. It's a great save by Ben, unfortunately, as the rebound was handed with the player, he's then fouled, he's just been fouled, the Hammond and Boys player, so now they have to try and save one from the penalty spot. Well, both keepers, I think, are very capable, I think both keepers have shown enough here, but this is not a gimmick, this is still going to require a lot of work here from Sam Kitely. There's a big man, he's going to pull the trigger. And the goal, by so finishing that bottom. So 5-3 now the score, and just over a minute 24 in the first half. And we're going to have a look at the replay here, look at the height that he generates, like he picks out of the water. Anytime you can see the logo on the uh, back of one of the players' speedos, you know they've got pretty good legs as they get out of the water that high. Bring each other. They, play it quick. they look so much more effective when they play it quickly. Looking to just try and squeeze it through that door that was slightly ajar. It probably wasn't on, but I'm not sure there were other options as well. Since so there's the defense from Hamilton. Really total, when they do break out, they play it quickly. They look incredibly dangerous. Another opportunity here, though. And just like that. Too big, too strong, too fast. Hamilton score another. And we're about to 6 3. Don't work for this A couple of players on him. Works, works, works. Waits for the kick to drop there. Hits, elevates nice and high, and over the goal kick is here. Yeah, it's that ability to stick under pressure just to, just to wait. Wait, wait, wait. He's up, he's up right. You can't hold it any longer. Drops down, and then you take the shot. Unbelievable athleticism. So, will be Zachary Martin. And how do high school here in the number nine cap? First, and the total now, and a little bit of difficulty. They trail by three. And then could be the next team to score. They have to score just before half time. 40 seconds remains. Need to go himself. Need to go himself. Now has a good effort too. Almost pulls it off. Great intent. And then good defence. Good goalkeeping from Cole Schmidt. Good work here to get up on their legs. The blockers and the goalkeeper and the they're all really high, creating good opportunities for themselves. Oh, oh just there like that, there you go. Now that lead goes out to four, seven, three, three seconds remaining to half time, and Hamilton Boys High School starting to take control over Rangatoto in this bronze middle match. Just as I said earlier, too big, too strong, too fast. It's really just the size, isn't it? It's just such a big team. Really important enough, I think, to go back to that block by Colton before. You know, Reggie Toto had the advantage. Colton makes a huge block, and then suddenly his team come out and score three really quick goals. Yeah. And, and you felt that if Reggie Toto had a score, that would have been the momentum shift. You know, it was 4-3 at that stage. They had that before all. And he makes that really, really big block. Oh, it's so I hope you are enjoying coverage here across the Kapa Māori. You're watching the New Zealand Secondary Schools Water Polo Championship. Special thanks to Bailey's, Caltex. And we do encourage you with those particular names, businesses and brands. And part of any future purchasing decisions, please go to those businesses that are supporting the sport you love. Kaka Māori, Māori Television, for their wonderful support and 
aware of the importance of sport in the secondary school level and we spoke a word about Tereo. Class in Tereo is Maka, Ball is Poro. You can see the white caps there are coming from Bruce High School, Kote Ma, the blue caps of Rangatoto College, Kota Kahurangi, the new is Kopanga. One thing we have seen a lot of, and it's quite common in water polo, exclusion. Old Kati. So that's when you go in the naughty two and seconds. If you get three exclusions, done for the day. Done for the day. Pretty common too. Um, you know, the game last night, there were four players out on three. You know, <laughs> um, I heard a story. Was the water still clear at the end of it? Or was it, it was, blood red? It was. Um, it was still clear, but uh, I think there were a few sore bodies this morning. This famous game of water polo, maybe for all the wrong reasons, infamous perhaps, is the 1956 Olympic Games. It's from Russia and Hungary, simply known as Blood in the Water. The water at the end of the game was blood red. It was fair to say, there wasn't a lot of love lost between the two teams. Blood in the water. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, 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 there's always a place for players that are smaller, but I think on the whole, you know, if you look at some of those leading inside players, six foot five, six foot six, or, you know, um, 90, 95, 100 kilos plus those big ones, and, you know, that size, you can't teach the size. No, you, know, you mean, can't. You've got to, you've got to you have can teach the skill set, and if exactly. you get the great skill set and the size, you get the perfect player. You know, if you're not born with size, well, you just have to be incredible in the skill set side of it. It's still a game that catered for all sizes. So number nine here, James Pinder for Rangitoto. Miles Julian for Hamilton. And we'll swim off. Steve Akam will bring you the gold medal. Of the senior girls. So they're in between the United States Cup bits. So for Rangitoto here, I think first goal for uh, they want to they try and make sure... They get some money from the third quarter, like they started the second quarter. So it's the same final rule between Geraldine College and Auckland. There's a tough bit to walk not too far away from each other in terms of distance. As you know, what's the bronze medal match between Hamilton and Rangitoto, Hamilton Boys High School, the national champions three years ago. Leading 7-3 over Rangitoto, we've seen the Rangitoto girls get up and beat Diocesan on the bronze medal on the girls' side. And the boys match that feet. They've got their work cut out. Just the right muscles at the moment. Take an opportunity. Actually, Jamie Durant, who's one of those players I think is on to exclusion. So, be a little bit more mindful. Oh, I picked up really nicely again by Kite. Oh, no. I, I'm feeling really highly counted that. Nicole Schmidt, huge play earlier as goalkeeper. One of the great players you'll see in the Waterpolo. One of the great pieces of the goalkeeper. I heard us talk about it a couple of minutes ago, possibly in the meantime shift up. Oh, I have another crack, another piece of good goalkeeping from Ben Rapley, they both keep us against the third. They have been both leaders in their team, um, up on their legs. My save. That's pretty good. Oh, lovely pass. Oh, wow, that is good. Wow, that is good. Just have a look here. Taylor Crouch. So a little pump fake here at one point. Then just this beautiful pass. The backhand flat from Kitely. Just turned on the See his name in the go. Great finish from Sam Crouch. Don't underestimate the work of Taylor Crouch here. Know what happening. But the patience, I've been really, really impressed with Hamilton Boys. Patience on the ball there to wait. He doesn't need to rush anything, waits for Sam to get free and then finds that pass. Oh, yeah, but there's a loophole. He's still the fact that Hamilton looked quite good enough to make this final. He's got the final, he's going to be an absolute cracker. Still the current of the final total, he's never won it. And the might of Sacred Heart College, the defending champions. Rangitoto 
right back in that zone. It'll be interesting to see Logan Geary, Jake Lockwood, two very experienced coaches, whether they go to a press at some point, whether they start to take that risk to try and get that ball back and start to eat into the Timeout call, and I don't think it was intentional. But as as Brangitoto called the timeout, the Hamilton voice player threw the ball away, so he's excluded. So, what was the timeout for six on six offense? It's just to come out very well timed. Six timeout for six on five. So what did Brangitoto do here? How did they get him back in this game? I, I'm not sure that they're going to be physical here. Again. And, and what's the definition of the risk? They, they need to go back to the they need to go back to the press, or they need to with their zone, they could be playing with the zone, they could be playing with the zone, they could be people. So, again, you, you're going to allow more shots on the outside, but what you are going to do is potentially open up the zone. You know, the problem is, Hamilton might, might score three and put it to bed. But, if it goes their way, they might score three really quickly and they're back at game on. There's got to be something at some point soon, because they need to try and enter the play in the next couple of minutes. So Mr. Sharoni in front of me with his cap off, so I can see him the now he's got his third major foul, so well, he's a big shooter from really tight on a big part of his team, so losing him early is a loss. Um, so, but a good chance for someone else to slip up and, and find some goals. Little Gordon Coo coming from the defender from Hamilton for nine games. A little bit of sledging going on. That's good defence. That's the opportunity at the other end, so Toto will come back away with it. Changed it up. We've got Aiden Waters in the corner now too, and he, he's made a big difference defensively. And a big kind of shot again, and it goes out. And Josh Bay has got a player who's been he has carried this Rangitoto team at times. This man here has been superb by Ben Rackley. There's the issue for Rangitoto before as they came down. They had a Hamilton Boys player sitting down the side of the pool three, but they couldn't leave Sam tightly with this one defender. They had to have two on him, otherwise he's going to score. So that's where those issues are coming from. Yeah, and that's what we talk about when you've got a good forward or a, a key player. You, you put two on him, but of course that just creates the over there for us there. And Absolutely. And so even if you take him out of the game, it's going to open the door, and we've got so many attackers. So one up and in this third quarter. Opportunity here for Hamilton Boys. Happy to be patient now. We've got five goal buffer. The cannon shot coming. So I picked up the game by Ben Rapley. I like the way Rapley's just got a good sense of awareness, hasn't he? Just comes off that line, shuts the angles down, doesn't panic. He trusts his pockets. That's a really key aspect for the goal. You know, it's a hard sport to be a goalkeeper. It's a hard sport to be a goalkeeper. It's a hard job. But if you don't trust the field blockers and the players in front of you, it's even harder. And clearly he does, and it allows him to stay in the centre and make those key saves. Through the middle. I think we just got a hand up. It might have been Jim 
Arvidsson for Rana Toto. With a little bit of a pace off it, Ben Rapley once again getting the job done. So just six seconds remaining. They have to take the big long shot here. And they do take the long shot. And now the other one to the other end. And underestimate, we've seen plenty of goals being scored from that in the last few seconds too. And it's the danger sometimes of being off your line with a couple of seconds to go. So as we head into that third and final quarter, it is Hamilton Boys High School leading Rangitoto by eight goals to three. They're a really disciplined team, Hamilton Boys here, so I think the message from Ra uh, on their end is six minutes, 30 seconds each position. There's six positions. You know, we just have to, they need to score, Rangitoto need to score six goals to get back in front. So there's still that chance, but for them it's use the 30 seconds, try and find an exclusion late in the period in that 30 seconds, which it extends it by a further 20. Do that one or two times and you're really eating into it. Don't rush anything. You don't need to play, play do anything silly. And just control, control the ball. Other end, Rangitoto, complete opposite. You can see Jack Lockwood's, you know, motioning at the moment and you can just, they need urgency. They need to try and find something. Just looking here, we saw Zach Martin in the number nine cap, Samuel quietly just the sheer size of them. Number 12, Nate Clark. Big, big team. So that, and try to, we talk about a vision that's just happy moments and then it's that, just those little split seconds and little lapses in concentration or just those little moments of brilliance for him as well. Seem to be able to just shift the momentum back in their favour just when you feel maybe there has been a momentum shift. Yeah, I think that's a testament. Yeah, the testament to the way Hamilton boys are playing. When Ring and have made those ones, they've done a really good job of actually just holding, holding and not pushing them. You know, not letting them get back into the game too much, just weathering the storm and then putting the foot down on their end. And that's what they need. And now it's Julian. So Hamilton boys host it. Ryan Burke for Ring and it's so relaxed. Everybody that takes up swimming, everybody looks so relaxed. I remember it said the school's been purified and incredibly nervous, and I think they showed it. I said it was. Mm. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they were prior to it. That's a Hamilton. Comfortably, the position. And immediately they move it. Taylor okay. Crouch. Across here to Conan Martin. Wait for the defender to come. Picks up the minor foul, and then Crouch gets the play back underway. And looks for that little cheeky entry pass, looking for that volley. It didn't quite come off, but it would have been spectacular. Some wonderful goals today, Hamilton. Still doing a photo, mind you. And so, Ted Salmon. Josh Bayers has been very good though, hasn't he? He's a very, very good player. He's been a threat and you can see how he's going to be well, especially losing Mr. Sharoni, really good shooter. Josh Bayers had to step up and he's been doing that. Yeah, Bayers too, I and mean, if you can stand out, it makes this very big Hamilton Blues high school team, you, you, you know you've got a quality player. Because it's not easy. Such a big side as Crouch now looks to drive forward for Hamilton. Lovely little pass, goes the way of Zachary Martin. Martin. Of the game, Ben Rapley off the line for Rangitoto. Cole Schmidt, Ben Rapley from picking the New Zealand second and Skills Water Polo team. Good luck with that one. <laughs> good really luck good with job. that one. Did a really good job today, Ben Rapley, leading his team on defense. You know, he's got. Ethan Mikulski, too, from. So, a six on five opportunity for Rangitoto. And. Yeah. That's good, though, isn't it? That's what they needed. So I think there's still another chat to be written. We talk about water polo at the highest level. That was a great example. Really good goal here from Ted Salmon. The most maturity for Ted Salmon, too. You see, he works really hard to catch that ball, finish him in the corner, and then you see him put his hand up to his coaches and say, I'm naked, I need a sub. You know, it's really easy as, as young athletes to go to stay in and not wait for the coach, but if you've got someone fresh on your bench, a little knackered, take a quick break. Yeah, absolutely, and turn your bench over quickly. I mean, go out there and go, hey, I just need two minutes all effort. I need you to be all over Sam Tite as an example. I just want you to do whatever you can do. Come off and throw the next guy on, and we'll just do it. We'll use our bench, we'll be effective with it. 
Rolling Savs and Apollo, so it's not like you're done for the day. No. Nope. Yeah, good piece of play here from Hamilton Boys High School. That is superb, really great athleticism from Jacob Kitely that time. And Kitely now being brought back into it. Kitely tries to turn, but really good defence. Jamie Durant gets it done. Got to say, though, Jacob Kitely, what an athlete he is. No, just under four minutes remain in this bronze medal match. Four goals is the difference. Hamilton Boys. Another six on five opportunity for Ringatoto. Yeah. Ringatoto have been better when they've just moved it quickly. They've yeah. got to go quickly. They've got to just move the ball quickly. Look for those little entry passes. This time well, we're well picked off. And Sandra Mayo for Hamilton Boys High School. I think the defender there. Good job, Rob. Now down the other end. The only surprise again. Oh, absolutely. That time I think it was just a little bit of frustration just going straight over the top of Sam Quietly. Got to be careful. We've always be looking at that. The penalty will come. I think it was just about sending the message. He's such a good player. Brave, brave. <laughs> it was cool to see a tee shot. We pulled it all off in one <laughs> hand and then pushed it off. Like yeah. a little golf tee. Oh, I just... Oh, he missed. Took the upright. Don't see that very often. Now, the total has got to get back. Oh wow, what an athlete. Timeout called. Hamilton Boys High School in control. What I love about this sport is it is physical by nature. It's a gladiatorial game, let's not pretend it's not. Um, but the moment it's all over, it's just all put to one side. It is, Everyone it is. gets out, shakes hands and goes, hey, nice little elbow to the head, John. Hey, exactly. well played. And that's the nature of the sport, which, you know, we have a, a, a smallish community. It's going, it's going yeah. fast, and it's great to see it getting into new areas, Fox Bay, yeah. Manitou, yeah. yeah. Gisborne. Um, but well, I, think it's, I think it's such a sport for the New Zealand psyche. We do like gladiatorial games. When I say that, look, it, 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 it's, it's a good game. I'm not saying that, you know, I don't want to turn people off it either. But, you know, it is physical, but it's a physical, 99% of the time, it's, a, it's physicality that you can deal with. Yeah, it is, and, and, and it lacks the, the impact, right? Where there's impact sports, you know, right there where you've got, where you've got the collision. Um, but here in that, I will tell you, you, you don't quite have that same level of impact. So you could have just seen right a picture earlier there, our two senior girls teams getting ready for the national final. The Midas and Cuthbert's up against Baradine and Hamilton Boys High School. This time through Sam Quitely gets it done after having just missed the penalty earlier. Doesn't make the mistake this time. And 9-4 nine, nine now in favour of Hamilton. Might be to order now to bring it Three minutes to go. Let's just have a look at the replay here. Get to talk us through this one. So you can see there that the ring player sunk Sam off the ball. Um, and then quick pass. He's wide open. Catch and shoot. Easy as. Sammy Durant's third foul, actually, so he's done for the day. Yeah, he was on two. Done his job, though. He's been good on defence, really good. Another chance here for Ringo Toto on the player. Both teams 6-5 conversion, been pretty good today. Oh, Ken in the shot, another really good block. Well done to Cole Smith. Didn't have a lot. Sometimes not that easy to pick those up if the defender's in front of you. Up to similar to the quarterback behind a, a defensive line in NFL. Some kind of here is a real advantage being a tall goalkeeper. He just naturally take up more of the frame, right? As you use your knees when you elevate, you just take up more of it. But you can also just get up and above the defensive line, can't you, at times, and see the shots coming. And, and generally, Hyde also equates to. Yeah, so just the two minutes now remaining. Hamilton College really yep, just trying to salvage some pride. In fact, I mean, they can take a lot of pride out of this just getting through to this, but we wanting to just try and reduce that margin. So James Pinder. Talk about those get that ends too, right? It's their last couple of minutes now. Still with Apollo, they want to get on the score sheet and just, you know, make this oh, as close as they can. Good entry pass, really good entry pass. Great piece of defence. I think Max Mayo possibly for Hamilton. Might have been the defender, read that well. 
And so timeout has been called, has it? No, it no. sounds like it was a shot clock going off, but it was slightly near it. Um, so 1.20 to go. And 1.20 to go, so Hamilton now will just happily... I wonder whether Hamilton, though, you know, having gone so close to toad on with the North Island Secondary School Championships in terms of winning that with this plane here and winning third is what they ultimately came for. I, I don't think so. Would there be a little bit of disappointment perhaps that they're not in the, the gold medal match? I mean, they were unlucky in the fact that they were drawn in the same pool with Toad on as well. Yeah, they're on that side, right? But, you know, they had their chance in, in the semi of Sacred Heart. And, you know, they'll be disappointed. Um, but as will, you know, there's teams all across the board, right? And I think they'll probably good. They have sort of had their chance today and they've done a good job to bounce back. Yeah, it's often only when you go down and you start to see the level in depth and you realise just how close everything is. You just go, you know what, I can't get, I just want to get on the podium. I just want to take something away. Because very few schools do, very few sides do. And it is a testament to the depth we're starting to see in the Apollo. And just the prestige of actually winning these in the Apollo Champions. It's now a school level. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the hardest, you know, I've always said in, in terms of water polo in this country, it's the hardest to Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, well, you're dependent too, aren't you, on waves? I mean, you can get a great year and then suddenly you've got to go back and build for three years. Um, you know, some schools are up against schools who generally have pools and greater resource and pool space and you know, a whole lot of things, whole lot of things that can either work for you or work against you. You yeah. do, do see the timeout. So, 9-4, Hamilton, leading Rangitoto, bronze medal, 38 seconds remaining. Following this, it is the New Zealand Secondary School Girls Final. And there's two Auckland schools. Baradine, the base of sort of St John's, Rimuera in Auckland, up against the Midas and Cuthbits, who are very much in the Epsom Newmarket region. Baradine have been probably the school that have really been on the rise in recent times. Very good program. Third consecutive top four in the championship of Baradine. Where there is just an expectation of both Diocesan and some Cuthbits. Hey, we either finish first or we finish second, and really anything else other than that is oh, not really part of our psyche in saying that. Diocesan having to settle for fourth. I'm going to ring a total for the bronze in that senior girls as we watch now Hamilton just run this clock down. It's just been such a wonderful player, Sam Kitely. And that was just an absolute cannon shot. What we call the old helicopter there. He's taken it out one side, spun around on his back and backhanded it from seven metres, but not quite. I if any of these guys are going on to play for the Hamilton boys first 15 after this. Very, very good luck, wouldn't he, Sam Kitely? I'm going to try and go long. Mm -hmm. Empty net, Rangi Toto, got the goal yet. But I think it came off the upright, didn't it? That's the goal, I think, so. And now just 17 seconds remain. So Hamilton Boys High School will win the bronze medal. Second at the North Island Championships. Nice block, done, well done, there by Ted Salmon for Rangitoto, and there it is, it's all over folks, it is Hamilton Boys High School who are crowned bronze medalists at the New Zealand Secondary School's Water Polo Championship in 2024, congratulations to Cole Schmidt who was superb in goal today, big team moment for him, just when you felt Rangitoto were getting the momentum, he pulled off one of the great saves, we had Samuel Ballantyne, Conal Martin, Samuel Mayo, Miles Julian, Taylor Crouch, Samuel Kitely, Max Mayo, Zachary Martin, Jacob Kitely, Aidan Waters, Nate Clark, Lewis Mayer. Congratulations to their coach, Rahiti, to Koke White, their assistant coach, Pierre Lebu, and their manager, Matthew Kitely. For some final summation, I'll hand it over to Hamish McDonald. Well, congratulations to Hamilton Boys. That's their fifth you know, medal in a national championship in a row, and that's a testament to a really, really solid program that Ra and his team have developed. Commiserations to Ring Toto, you know, uh, we're always there or thereabouts this championship. I'm sure we'll be back next year looking for a medal. Um, and they've, they've had a great season as well. And write down the name, Sam Kitely, because this young man is a superstar of the future. A remarkable talent. Well, don't go away, folks, because still to come, we bring you our two gold medal matches. Up next, it will be the senior girls final between the might of Baradine and the defending champions in Cuthbert's of Auckland.
Healthcare is using the exotics to help that process get established. We're looking at a managed transition process where those pines are progressively thinned as the native understory establishes. We're trying to do several things here. Soak up carbon, establish native forest, and we're trying to improve biodiversity. You're achieving an awful lot with one program of activity. This is an opportunity that we can't pass up.